at first I didn't I didn't want to believe it. I just said, you know, she she can still see a little bit. And then it took me running with her one day, trying to get her to run with me, and her running completely into a bush, and it just it just broke my heart. It was awful. It was it was just awful for us, and and I'm sure even worse for her. He just kind of became more alone and and stayed you know to himself a lot more and quit hanging out with other dogs. We just couldn't couldn't have her living the way she was living. Here's my kid. Vision. So often something we take for granted, not only in ourselves, but in our pets as well. But what happens when that vision fails? I didn't want to leave her. I wanted to take her everywhere I went. I mean, you know, we, we had a couple scary moments. You know, one, one time he fell in the pool, and um, you know, luckily she was there to guide him to the side. I don't believe he could have found his way out. So, you know, we were hesitant we were going to come home one day, and, and you fear the worst would happen to Duke. Like most living beings, dogs and cats rely on vision as one of their principal sensory devices. Although most domestic animals do not see with the same detail as humans, there are many similarities. Let's take a look at the structure of an eye. In simplified terms, the eye has five basic components. First is the outer protective shell, consisting of the cornea and sclera. Next are the pupil and iris, which dictate the amount of light entering the eye, similar to an aperture on a camera. Then the lens, which like on a camera, brings everything into focus. Then the retina, which acts as an image receptor of light entering the eye. And finally, the optic nerve, which connects the retina to the brain. There's no real way for us to know exactly what dogs or cats actually see. However, based on current research, it is possible to make some educated assumptions about their vision. Like so many members of the animal kingdom, dogs and cats use binocular vision to judge distance. In dogs, 30 to 60 degrees of their central field of view overlaps, thus creating binocular vision, enabling the perception of depth. It was commonly thought that dogs only see in black and white. However, recent studies in dogs and cats suggest that they perceive yellow and blue colors in comparison to humans who perceive yellow, blue, and red colors. Hence, dogs rely primarily on contrast and movement in visual identification. A cataract, by definition, is opacity of the lens. As in humans, cataract is one of the most common diseases to affect vision. However, Unlike in humans, cataracts in dogs and cats are primarily inherited. Other causes of cataracts include diabetes, trauma, chronic inflammation inside the eye, and retinal degeneration. The exact mechanism of cataract formation is unknown. However, molecular changes in the lens fibers and proteins occurs, resulting in loss of transparency. Cataracts are usually first noticed as white spots within the normally black pupil as the lens becomes progressively opaque and vision deteriorates so that only light and dark perception exists. Molly wasn't fetching her treats and she had a hard time going down the front stairs. Walking into everything, hiding constantly. She couldn't go in and out of the house. And it just progresses getting worse and worse. Currently, there are no medications effective in treating or preventing cataracts. It is important to note that cataracts are not a growth or a film across the lens, but an abnormality in the lens cells that affect their ability to transmit light. The only treatment for cataracts is the surgical removal of the lens. Prior to surgery, additional tests may be required on your pet. An electroretinogram or an ERG, as well as an ultrasound may be necessary to determine if the retina is healthy. If the retina is not functioning properly, the eye may not be a good candidate for surgery. Your veterinary ophthalmologist will tell you if these tests are required. If your pet requires regular grooming, it is advisable to have them groomed prior to the procedure. Bathing, swimming, grooming, and strenuous activity must be avoided for two to four weeks following surgery, as your pet will be wearing a plastic head collar as part of their post-operative care. 
should you take your pet to the groomer, have the face and ears clipped short to prevent the fur from matting. It is very important to bring all of your pet's medications with you on the day of the surgery, as the healthcare team will need to use them throughout the day. The surgical procedure is very similar to that which is used in humans. The patient is closely monitored throughout the entire operation. The surgery is done in a sterile operating room with the same equipment used in human ophthalmology. The most common technique for cataract removal is called phacoemulsification. This procedure is minimally invasive, allowing the surgery to be performed through a small incision in the cornea, three millimeters or less. Phacoemulsification uses high-frequency ultrasonic waves emitted from the tip of a small probe to break the solid lens into a liquid so that it can be vacuumed out of the eye. A synthetic lens then replaces the dysfunctional lens. The incision is closed with sutures and the surgery is complete. In some cases, a lens is not implanted and it is important to note that even without a lens, sight will be improved. Your veterinary ophthalmologist will tell you if a synthetic lens is right for your pet. You have some concerns, you're, you're very worried about it. He came home with a halo on, which was to protect his eyes. It was a little bit difficult because he worked very hard at trying to get the halo off. He had an Elizabethan collar, and that was the worst part of the whole thing. But to be honest with you, after the first 24 hours, you're fine. You're very comfortable. Even giving him his drops and things like that. Instructions are all there and uh, you just learn to do it. When administering eye drops, hold the head up, nose pointing upwards. Gently pull the upper lid back to open the eye and drop the medication directly onto the eyeball. Wait five minutes between different drops to avoid flushing out the previous medication. If you are required to use both eye drops and ointments, Use the ointment last. Wipe away any discharge from the eye with a clean, moist tissue or face cloth. It is important that you contact your eye care professional if you notice any change in the eye. For example, if the white of the eye becomes more red, or the surface of the eye becomes hazy or blue in color, or if your pet suddenly starts squinting. These could be indications of a problem or accidental injury that might require medical attention. Possible complications include chronic inflammation, glaucoma, retinal detachment, and infection. Three days of the operation, the dog was back to normal. Eating, uh, more sociable, a lot more sociable again, and um, just a completely different dog. Once the surgery was done, about 24 hours later, which was the following morning, because she had it done real early in the morning, I put her down with her food to eat, and she started eating her food, and she turned around and looked, and I could tell that she could see me because her tail started waggling, and I got down on the floor and started moving, and she was following me with her eyes, and it was, it was just amazing. It, it was so incredible. He uh, can now chase squirrels again and rabbits and chase those little white dogs down the street. <laughs> she has gone from being a very lethargic, um, geriatric dog to just being a puppy again. It's given her back so many years of her life. You know, since the procedure, he's a lot more social dog. You know, he's interacting with our other dogs better. Um, a lot more active, you know, doesn't hide underneath the table anymore. Your pet should regain functional vision soon after surgery. This procedure has a 90% success rate restoring your pet's ability to function in a world with clear vision. And, and to think that, um, you know, we might have considered not doing it and uh, the option, um, you know, she's a perfectly healthy dog. So rewarding to see them getting back, you know, so many useful years of their life again.